Here's the first wall you see when you walk into the art gallery. It has one piece of artwork from each school to showcase all the talent of our Perth Amboy students. Very, very inspired by their beautiful artwork and how hard they worked to make this event possible. All right, we're starting our tour of the Perth Amboy Gallery Center for the Arts K through 12 Student Art Show with Mrs. Stepash's work. She does computer graphics and she also does computer 3D animation. So here's her students' beautiful artwork. Next we go to the Charter School. Look at the wonderful artwork they're producing over at the Charter School. Beautiful two-point perspective cityscapes. It's some quilling, it's some beautiful colored pencil work. And now we go to Miss Batista at the Perth Amway Education Center Adult School. And we look at the exquisite work that her students are doing. Look at this huge mural. And now we go to some more paintings that Ms. Batista does with her students. Very, very beautiful. Here we are at the Perth Amboy Gallery Center for the Arts, looking at the phenomenal artwork from the advanced placement students at Perth Amboy High School. The teacher is Mrs. Napoli, and you can tell she's an incredibly talented teacher and that her students have a great deal of talent and they are going to be making their mark on the art world and some of them are already absolutely phenomenal Mrs. Napoli. This is Mrs. Osterman's artwork. Um, her students hail from William C. McGinnis School and you can see the absolutely stunning artwork that McGinnis School students are producing and then we have Patricia Johnston of Samuel E. Shaw School and the absolutely lovely artwork that her students are producing. Let's look at more of Mrs. Johnston's very talented students. Very nice. Okay, and my name is Mrs. Winnenberg and this is the stuff that my students have produced at Samuel E. Shaw School. As you can see, they've done some nice sculpture. They illustrated some poetry and some dragons. This is a fun project where they figured out creative ways to use broken pencils. One point perspective and some beautiful landscapes. This is Mrs. Rigo's students. They hail from Willen School. And you can see that her kids just love art and love her class. Her artwork is full of life. Yolanda Rosa is at Flynn School and he teaches his students all sorts of very sophisticated art skills so that when we get his students at Shull School, they are very well prepared for middle school art. More Mr. Rosa's stuff. And let's see, this is Cynthia Borghetti, the traveling art teacher. She travels to various schools in the district. She's on an art card. She's new to our district, and yet she's able to pull some very sophisticated artwork out of her students. I believe she travels to Patton School and AB Series School, and also to Flint School. Look at this magnificent 3D sculpture that was done by some students in Mrs. Rigo's class at Wand School. Look at these wonderful pottery done by students at Wand School. And look at this bird made of wax. Look at all this amazing stuff. This is another one of Cynthia's uh, Forgetti's pieces done by a student at Patton School. With more beautiful artwork by Flynn School students, Mr. Rosa, just 
a lot of very impressive stuff. And some more McGinnis artwork. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. We have many programs um, throughout the year, and for the most part, these programs are free for the children. So, and Vivian, Vivian is the one that always handles most of the, um, the programming that uh, happens right here. And most, and I do want to encourage you, don't leave here today without taking the newsletter. The newsletter has all the programs that the city provides throughout um, the spring season, and we're already gearing up for what's going to happen in the summer. We want people to, especially the parents, to come here and feel that your children will be in a safe environment and, and learn from our uh, professionals. Um, many of, of the art, art, art programs that go on here. So we're asking you to please, you know, come back. Let this not be the first um, time that you're here uh, and bring your children. And to the children, thank you so much for um, this beautiful artwork that we're displaying here. We are opening up this center. We open the center during the weekday so that we also offer IDs in this in the same facility. We have a municipal ID that is being issued and is being done right here. So I know we're gonna have this artwork up for a couple of weeks, I'm hoping, so that everyone from the community that comes here will see your talent. So I wanna thank you for sharing um, this beautiful display. And I'm gonna, as the residents come here, they're going to see how talented um, Perth and West students are. So to the parents, to the teachers, and especially to the students, thank you. And I hope you continue to come back and enjoy a lot of our programs. But I do wanna thank the Board of Education. And again, all the teachers, thank you for everything that you do for our students. And, um, and we do have, a citation for every child. So what we're going to do is we're going to call one of the children up today, one of the students, and the teachers will go back with the other citations that we have, and, and the children will be able to take it home. But I want to share this with you. My mother held, um, actually held one of my citations from back then, back in 1974, when I was very young. And I found it the other day. My mother um, gave me back a lot of, of items that she, she saved for me. And when she saved it, I found some. And then I said, wow, I actually, at your age, was already part of the arts. So I, I'm just so happy and I hope that you saved my citation. And 50 years from now, you're gonna say, wow, who was that woman that signed the, the, the citation? She was a mayor once.